What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? This is Kitty Boy Radio. Hope you're having a great, grand, blessed, and prosperous day. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, you guys. What's up? How you doing? If you're new to my channel, click that like and subscribe button, you guys. Yes, leave a thumbs up, thumbs down. Just not two middle fingers, okay? Okay, thank you so much for being here. Also, if I can't answer a question here, slide on over to my Facebook group. Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, beginners and experts are welcome. That's the name of the group over there. If I can't answer a question here, I guarantee you, you'll get an answer from over there. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for being here. I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys. Oh, also leave a comment, you guys. Share the video with all your social media. I greatly appreciate you. Today, I just want to make a quick video on small space gardening and growing broccoli in containers. Yes, a lot of people think you have to have a huge garden to grow broccoli. No, you can grow broccoli on your patio, porch, deck, apartment, wherever you need to grow it. Cool weather crop. If you get them started, get them started now in your containers, they just come out like this. And you might be thinking, why are they so leggy and limpy? Are they leggy? No, they're not leggy. They're probably just a little warm from being grown indoors and they're used to being outside. They're a cool weather crop. So sometimes they will get like long and lengthy like this. It's okay. It's just the stem on there. Okay. So what you want to do, and we're going to use this one since it's so long and it's been in the house and it's just doing really well. We're going to use this broccoli plant and we're going to transplant it today. And so what you want to start off with, I always tell you when you're doing your container garden, try to use a good soil, you guys, especially if you're growing stuff inside of your house. You always want to use a good soil instead of bringing stuff from outside and then you have bugs flying all around. We ain't got no money to be trying to have no bugs, ready to kill all the bugs and then we'd be sick going to 9-1 YouTube hospital. We ain't got no money for that. And um, <laughs> so what you want to do is always try to use you a good soil, get the best soil that you can get um, with um. You know, whatever you can afford. Okay, okay. No, no. You know, we don't we don't buy a whole bunch of stuff. But when it comes to our container garden, we want to make sure the soil that we're putting in our containers is healthy and reliable. Okay, okay. So I just have some Miracle Grow potting mix. And you guys, if you can get a Roger Lowe's, um, please do. Come on up there because you can get a huge bag for like eight dollars, and it'll last you a long time. And then I want to use a little bit of organic bone meal. Just to help the root system, I want to put that near the bottom. And now, broccoli is a very high nitrogen feeder. So, if you want to um, fertilize your broccoli, especially when you first plant it, you want to go ahead and fertilize it, get you something high in nitrogen. Now, I have pure nitrogen, which is a very powerful 100% pure raw nitrogen. And it only takes a tap, like a one-fourth of a teaspoon per a huge gallon of water. One Fourth, not even a whole teaspoon, just a fourth to an eighth. That's how strong it is. But broccoli loves the nitrogen, so does my corn. So, yeah. And then I have a pot this size, a good old Dollar Tree pot. I think this is a 10 inch. And uh, let's pull this label off the back here. Yes, you guys. And since we're growing in a pot this size, I'm only going to put two plants in here. You you can only do one if you want, but I'm going to put two because I want it to be full. And broccoli is a very leafy plant, so you're just going to get a lot of leaves until it actually starts to produce the florets, the, the little flowers, which are the babies of the real flowers. So that's what we're eating. We're eating the babies of the real flowers. So I'm going to poke the holes. Uh, let me get you down here so you can. It's not about me. It's about this project. Get you down here. Can you see me here, guys? Right here, yeah. So I'm just gonna drill our holes. Oh. Went too far, y'all. Let me grab another pot. And if you happen to do that, you guys, if you happen to put a hole in there too big. It's no big deal. I'm just going to put a piece of plastic down in here, and when I fill it with soil, it'll be just fine. But just for the video's sake, I wanted to do it the right way. And let's see if we can poke these in. I don't have the right drill bit on here, y'all. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. That one don't want to go in, y'all. All right, there we go. So we got our drainage holes in there. Just like that. Then we're going to add. There's our good trusted airline plane coming through. I'm going to add a little bit of soil halfway. Just like that. Halfway. Sprinkle a little bit of my bone meal. Just a little bit. Because by the time the roots reach down here, this will have started breaking down. And this just helps with the root system, you guys. Starting it off with a healthy root system. But it has to break down. It's not uh, required at all. Broccoli doesn't require a whole bunch of extra stuff, y'all. So go ahead and start watering that. So you know your, your soil is already moist in the middle. Because sometimes if you fill it all the way up and then go to moisture to water, it's not moist in the middle. It might you might think it is, but it's not. So we just got all that mixed up in there just like that. Then we're gonna take our soil and fill it up the rest of the way, leaving about two inches. Leaving about two inches. Because broccoli needs loose soil, you guys. Very loose soil. But not so loose that the roots are exposed to air pockets because it's known it's prone for uh, root rot and uh, a lot of root issues when the soil is not compacted enough. Okay, so that's why you want to use a good medium because if you use regular topsoil or garden soil out from outside and pack it down, it's going to be super duper packed. And what you want to do is press this down just like that, all the way around. Press it down. Just like that. Take our broccoli plant. Gently tap it out of its home. See? We're going to leave all that in there just like that. And get us another plant. Just like that. I'm going to put one over here. And this is going to be a full container when these babies grow. Okay, so just going to break up that that soil ball so it, we can welcome it into its new home and bury that stem down some. Fill it all the way up. All the way this time. Support our plants all the way around. Give them a nice press in. Because they are leafy plants, you guys, that's why they tend to lean a lot. Because they're going to grow mostly leaves in the beginning. So try to support it up as close as possible. Okay. All the way up there. Want to give it a strong base. Okay. Oh, the sun is coming out, you guys. You see that? Thank you, God, for the sunlight. Helps with the video. Okay. So we got that one in there. Like that. And there you have it, you guys. You just pot it up. And if you get that leaf, that cotton leaf under there, that's okay. And we're going to use our nitrogen water to water this in. And you have just transplanted your broccoli. Now, broccoli can take a light freeze and it can take temperatures as low as 20, 25 degrees. So with the weather that we're in now, perfect time for growing your broccoli. Cool weather crop. Give it a nice pressing in. 
welcoming it to, to its new home. You don't ever want to let it dry completely out. You want to keep this moist and fertilize at least once. I would say in a container this size, once a month should be good with a nice, good fertilizer. Once a month, you should be just fine. Don't over fertilize your broccoli, you guys. So we're just going to let this baby continue to grow. Let me prop this up just a little bit for presentation purposes. And there you have it. You can grow your broccoli in a small container on your porch, deck, patio, or apartment, you guys. Okay? You can do it. Don't forget, remember, click like and subscribe. Live, love, laugh, you guys. Close, love, and eat it. You're absolutely the best. Thank you.